Good evening, everybody. If everyone could please take a seat. Good evening and welcome to Echo Aquarium, uh, the home of the best places to work in Vermont event. Please don't be afraid to cheer. <laughs> we want to hear a noise tonight. Everyone should have a noisemaker. This is a celebration. On behalf of Vermont Business Magazine the, in the Vermont Chamber of Commerce, welcome to the 8th Annual Best Places to Work Award Ceremony. Thank you, for, thank you for being here this evening to celebrate with your fellow associates for the top 10 large companies and the top 20 small to medium sized companies. This is by far the largest group of winners we have had in the eight years of this event. That's what we like. One thing I, I, you've got to keep in mind is we are going to reveal the rankings tonight, but every single company here is a winner, and that is very important to remember. So let's hear a cheer for everybody. And I also like to hear a loud cheer for the two companies that have been on this list for all eight years, King Arthur Flower and Edward Jones. It is my pleasure to recognize some special guests who are with us tonight. Governor Peter Shumlin. <laughs> Lieutenant Governor Phil Scott. <laughs> newly named Commissioner of Economic Development, Joan Goldstein. <laughs> Chris Saunders from Senator Leahy's office. and Megan Sullivan from Congressman Welch's office. Thank you all for joining us tonight. To pull this entire process off takes many partners. The Vermont Chamber of Commerce, Best Companies Group, SHRM, Vermont State Council, Vermont Department of Commerce and Community Development, and the Vermont Department of Labor. I want to thank you all for your support and getting the word out on this event. And I'd be remiss if I did not thank our sponsors, because without our sponsors, we would not be able to celebrate this great event tonight. Dealer.com, Vermont Energy Investment Corporation, JobsNVT.com, 7th Generation, Southwestern Vermont Medical Center, Sun Common, Fuse Marketing for the Drink Tickets, Oh, you can do it better than that. Third Generation Design, who will be uh, videotaping this tonight, and we will have it on our website soon. Sugar Snaps for the great food that was served tonight. Radio Vermont Group. And last but certainly not least, Echo Lake Aquarium and Science Center. I would also like to recognize Vermont Trophy and Engraving. They are the ones that uh, put together these beautiful awards that will be handed out tonight. So a big hand for Margie and her crew. Now it is my distinct honor to introduce to you, to say a few words, Governor Peter Shumlin. Way to go, John. John's doing great so far, isn't he? Let's give him a hand. Come on. And, it, and his partners here, Tim, Tim McQuesten, thank you for all you're doing at Vermont Business Magazine. You guys make a great team. And we love reading you, particularly when you say nice things about us. So let's give them a hand. Uh, thanks to the Echo Center. Uh, I know that uh, Phelan Fretz is here. It seems like we've been here a lot lately, right? Are you getting tired of us yet? No. We, we were here with Senator Leahy uh, and Marcel the other night 
for a clean up the lake, clean water. Everyone for clean water, raise your hand. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, and I, I always love having them both here as a couple because I say it's so great to be here at the Marcel Leahy Echo Center. And uh, anyway, the center doesn't smile. Uh, I got to give it up to the folks who make this awards. They're always so much fun possible. Uh, so let's hear it for not only Vermont Business Magazine, but for Betsy Bishop and, the, and our team at the Chamber, Melissa Norman from the Society of Human Resource Management, and uh, Lila Zayed, who's, the, who's with Best Companies Group. She's Vice President. Went to UVM, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so we got you back. Uh, thank you all. Let's give them all a hand for making this night possible. You know, I just got to tell you, you know, governors, we have sometimes uh, bizarre conversations with people, and Lila just had this conversation with me. You, you, you Vermonters will get this. I mean, you're drinking Switchback tonight, right? Yeah. yeah. Is that good Vermont beer? Yeah. yeah. She says, oh, I, I'm from Maine. I'm living in Maine, but I could live anywhere. And I said, well, why would you live in Maine when you could live in Vermont? And well, she said, we've got great beer. And she goes, you know, this gets worse than that. She goes, you know, we're canning it. I said, you're... Hey, guys, the state of Maine just figured out canning beer, you know? I mean, come on, Lila. We're winning beer awards all over the world. Our beer is kicking your beer's ass. Don't tell Vermonters you've got good beer. But that brings me to the larger point, which is why we're here to celebrate you. The point is, it doesn't matter if it's beer or other businesses. We've got nine more businesses here this year than we had last year who are out innovating everybody else in America because of the extraordinary workforce, the Vermont spirit, and our simple commitment to do it better than other people. And really what this night is about is celebrating the fact that we've got employees across the state in a state that has one of the lowest unemployment rates in America, where we have a more diversified economy than most, where we've had the fastest growth rate of any of the New England states for some time now, where we actually are succeeding because of the entrepreneurs that every day get up and make products in Vermont that we enjoy not just here but all over the world that people understand are of higher quality, created with more imagination, more skill, in better workplaces than you can find anywhere else in America. That's why I'm so proud to be governor of Vermont, and that's why I'm so proud to honor you tonight. So congratulations to all of you for winning this award. It's not just about what we make, it's how we make it. And, you know, we know that tonight these awards are based upon how we treat each other in the workplace, not only benefits packages, but time off for volunteering and Vermont would be lost without its volunteer nonprofit organizations and so many employees going in and helping. I wish someone would explain that to the legislature when they take away charitable contributions. Uh, it's because of things that other companies, other states don't do. Like, I'm always amazed when I go visit companies in Vermont, how many have CSAs in the workplace? You know, locally grown food found right there in your workplace. That takes imagination. They have, you know, on-site massage in the workplace, done the Vermont way, you know. We've, we've got, uh, it's true. It's not, no, that means, that means it's, it's not canned massage, it's real massage. It's, it's flexible schedules. It's fun social events like this one and so many others that are made more fun by the people that come and enjoy it. It's on-site child care. It's all the things that we're doing to reinvent the way we create jobs and create products. So I just want to say on behalf of all the sponsors tonight, I know we're going to do a lot of clapping tonight, but I'm incredibly proud of all of the 29 companies that are being honored tonight. You've earned it. Keep up the good work. Uh, we have the pleasure, I know tonight, of having a lieutenant governor who's going to uh, hand out the awards. I've got to go on uh, 
Vermont Public Television, you know, that call-in show, Beat Up the Governor. I'm glad you're all here so that you can't call in. But let me just say uh, to all of you, keep up the great work. I'm incredibly proud of you. Let's work together to make Vermont an even better place to grow jobs, raise a family, quality of life, and drink the best beer in the world. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Governor. You know, it's no surprise that not everybody agrees with everything the governor does. But one thing every Vermonter does agree on is we do have the best beer. <laughs> Now I'd like to introduce to you the Executive Director of ECHO, Phelan Fretz, who would like to share with you a short video. So let, let me get this right, John. So everybody here has had a nice drink outside. We've been feeding you, and then we're going to give them noisemakers, right? This sounds like a great idea. In fact, I'm just... <laughs> I'm thinking... Can we hear the all the way in the back, the last row back there, celebrate? Can we hear some noise way in the back there? Yeah, they're there. They're still with us. Um, John, thank you, thank you so much for, for uh, let, allowing Echo to host this event. It's such a great time for us. Um, a little, little, uh, little plug there, of course, you can have your, your great event in this space, too, and we'd love to do that. And it, all the, the support for this space helps to support the education programs about the stewardship of Lake Champlain. So, you know, it's, it's for a good cause. Um, it's also a great place to, to party. Um, and so we hope that you want to use this space to do that. Um, you know, we're all here, of course, because one of the greatest things that we do in our businesses is really manage to mission. Um, you know, certainly we've got to have a good bottom line and we've got to, we might have investors and we've got to support them and all the staff, but ultimately it's about focusing on a mission that supports the community in many, many different ways. And for us here at ECHO, what's so important for us is how we manage to mission um, because we're all about lake stewardship and having all of us be better stewards of this great, this great lake that's right outside here. So if we can roll, please. Um, we have a short video for you and we'll get started tonight. Difference to create a ripple that moves and rolls and merges with other ripples. A perpetual motion of change and evolution. One building on the other, one dependent upon the other. All starting with one drop. To change an action. Change direction. Change your mind. Our animals here teach us about not only the animal themselves, but their habitats and how they interact with their habitats. And that's all about sustainability and stewardship. Every audience we touch, it's with tremendous heart and caring. ECHO really works hard to help people bring their knowledge that they get here home. Take that idea of stewardship and caring about a place and share that with the next generation. It's truly magical to witness. We're doing whatever we can on our part to change the world, make it a better place, and make Echo a safe place for everybody else that goes to our doors. It's about getting closer to the lake, and you can't get any closer. We provide a space for creating memories. People don't always remember the fish or the food, but they remember how this place made them food. If you really love a place, then you're really going to think about ways that you can take care of that place. And so much of it starts with passion and Love. One drop is all it takes. What's your one drop today? So all you great organizations, John, your team, um, good luck. Thanks again for seeing for everybody coming down here, and we look forward to seeing you all year long. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you John. Thank you, Phelan. As I said, our partner in the best places to work is Vermont, in Vermont is the Vermont Chamber of Commerce. Many of the companies here tonight are members of the chamber. Betsy Bishop, president of the Vermont Chamber, works tirelessly every day 
for the best interests of not only the chamber members, but for all the businesses in Vermont that make it a great that makes this a great partnership. Please welcome Betsy Bishop. Thank you so much for being here. And when uh, Phelan asked for the crowd in the back to hoot and holler, uh, we can barely see you back there, but man, we could hear you. So let's keep that energy going all night long. <laughs> right. This is one of the events that I love because often when I'm speaking in front of groups, I don't get hoots and hollers and cheers. So it's great. It's great. <laughs> Sometimes I get other things. So, <laughs> um, I wanted to say thank you to the best places to work folks, uh, to John Booten, to all of the sponsors, and mostly to the 29 companies here tonight. You folks are what make the Vermont story great. One of the things that we've talked endlessly about is how do we grow Vermont? You know, we are, have been starting a hashtag let's grow VT to tell your stories there. We've tweeted out to you endlessly about these types of stories about how Vermont companies are growing, whether that's with investment in employees or investment within your facilities. But that's what we're looking for is that economic growth. And I think about Vermont's brand is really about our natural beauty, our world-class recreation, our renowned food and beer, which we've already talked a lot about tonight. Um, but we also have an amazing story of innovation that we need to get out and tell folks. And it's rooted in our history here, whether that's with John Deere or Fairbanks or Orvis. We have plenty of companies that are really have been doing innovation for years and years. And all of you are continuing that tradition. So as we sort of go forward as a group together and really try to grow Vermont, we're interested in embracing not only our natural environment, but our economic environment as well. So hashtag let's grow VT, let's get out there and let's do a little cheering. Thank you, Betsy. Our other partner in recognizing all these great companies is Sherm. And I think I said it right. <laughs> Perfect. First time after eight years. And here to say a few words is Melissa Norman, the president of Sherm. Sherm's board, and who works at one of tonight's winners, King Arthur Flower. Thank you, John. <laughs> Thank you, um, and welcome. And congratulations to all the companies that are winners this evening. Um, it really doesn't matter where you place because you're really the top of the top here in the state of Vermont. So what is Shoreham Society of HR? And I'm really, by the way, um, honored <laughs> that you got it right for the first time in eight years. And this is the ninth year and I'm here. So I think that's awesome. <laughs> um, so Society of Human Resource Management, it's all those, you know, people, people that are in your offices and in your businesses. And uh, we have a national organization, but we also have an organization here in the state of Vermont. And three vibrant, lively, networking, hardworking group of volunteers in different parts of the state. Burlington has the Vermont HR Association. Rutland Bennington has Green Mountain HR Association. And the Upper Valley has River Valley um, HR Association. So all different parts of the state are included. And uh, so if your business, your HR people, your business manager, your accounting manager who does the people stuff isn't part of one of those groups, get them signed up. Email me, email John, um, email Betsy, and we can get them signed up and get them connected. Um, one last, before I say one nice new one more thing, I just want to do a shameless plug. Right. Okay. We are very excited this year. Um, we have our annual HR conference coming up in September on the 10th and 11th. It's going to be at the Hilton Hotel right in the, in the downtown area. And we have a phenomenal speaker. I can't give it away just yet, but probably one of the top leaders in HR nationally, even globally. And we're excited to have her come. And we'll be offering kind of a breakfast um, 
meeting with her pre-keynote. So we're very excited. So watch for information that will be coming out through the chamber and other organizations. So uh, just watch for it. It's going to be exciting. So last that I want to say before I step aside is that really the companies that are recognized here tonight have found a secret recipe, the secret recipe, and that's their people. And when you pair your people with passion and purpose, you get phenomenal success. And that success is experienced by each one of your customers each and every day. And it just grows your business, it grows your customer base, and it grows the prosperity and the happiness of your employees. And I just congratulate you all for finding that secret recipe. Thank you, Melissa. Best Companies Group, the organization that provided the survey, compiled the data, and came up with the list of businesses we are honoring here tonight is dedicated to establishing best places to work, programs throughout, really, the international. I mean, it's no longer just an American company. They, they, they're in London, Dubai. I mean, they're just all over the place. Uh, in an effort to distinguish companies who demonstrate in our superior workplace excellence, I would like now to introduce Lila Zayed, VP Best Companies Group, who will explain how the 30 best places to work in Vermont were selected. And I got to tell you, I'm in awe of this company and what they do. It, this is not an easy feat, uh, the process that they put these companies through. So you can explain a little more. Thank you, John. Thank you. Evening, everybody. Uh, thank you for having me, and congratulations. I want to start by talking about engagement just a little bit because we talk about employee engagement and why that matters and we talk about it around this event and this accolade that you're receiving tonight. Engagement means that you have employees that will put in the extra effort to see your company succeed. They show up in the morning ready to do that work. They recommend your company to their friends, their family, and that's a big deal. Nationally, we have an average of about 40% Engagement, that means that perhaps, uh, you know, two out of five employees get into a boat in the morning and row. And the other three, what are they doing? I don't know. But your employees of those companies represented on this list here tonight, 90% engagement. That's huge. Every morning, nine out of ten of your employees walk through that door ready to do it for you, for your company. So, round of applause. That is incredible. And it's a really big deal. And you know, it's, it's not just important because it feels awesome, and it feels awesome. But it's important because we've always focused our time and our energy, our money on marketing of our products and our services, because we have to. But you know, there's something coming for us too, which is the battle for, for the labor market, for the talent market. And you are really focused on and establishing your employer brand, which is a big deal. Because now you are able to retain and recruit the very best. That's the work that you're putting in here. Uh, so you know, congratulations, just congratulations to you. I'm going to tell you how we do this, how we've ranked your companies, created your scores, and separated you from everyone who threw their name in the ring. 25% of your score was made up of an audit of your HR practices and policies. So, you know, as the governor mentioned, chair massages, beer. Yes, you have great beer. I went to college here. I know that. <laughs> the other 75%, though, of course, is employee feedback, right? I mean, if you want to know where is a great place to work, ask the people who work there. So all of those numbers come together to generate a score, and those companies that scored at this level or above are best places to work. That's you. That's you. I want to hear you in the back. <laughs> you know, and, and the companies who threw their names in the ring and they scored at this level or below, they didn't make the list, okay? And so everyone in this room, you're not just the best of 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 the 10th power. So um, that being said, I just want to say thank you for having me. I'm so thrilled to be here, and congratulations to everyone in the room. Cheers. Thank you, Lila, and welcome back to Vermont. Before we begin the program, which is coming up next, I just want to introduce Lieutenant Governor Phil Scott, who will say a few words. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Um, I had a bit of an uncomfortable situation last week. The governor spoke about beer, but I was at a National Lieutenant Governor's Conference in D.C. And uh, at the end, uh, the, uh, the chair, this year's chair of our organization, uh, is the uh, Lieutenant Governor from Connecticut. And she gave each of us a gift bag. And in the gift bag was a little bottle of maple syrup. So it's like, what do you do with it? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm too frugal to throw it away. And so I served it this morning with coffee to some of the legislators. Tasted a little bit like pine. But <laughs> they got their work cut out for them. But I do, um, I do get around Vermont an awful lot. And uh, I've been doing my Vermont Everyday Jobs Tour for the last uh, four or five years where I work a day in somebody else's shoes. So I've done 35 or 40 jobs, work for some of your companies as well. Uh, my last job was with Margie from Vermont Trophy and Engraving. That was last month, I believe. And uh, may have made one or two of those uh, trophies that are being presented. If there's a name misspelled, it's probably my fault. I'll take the blame for that. But I also uh, am trying to keep, to keep in touch with Vermont because what I believe for the future is that we need to expand the economy, as Betsy was talking about. If we can, if we can focus on prioritizing the economy and growing, that we can bring in revenue more naturally, or more organically, and we can grow our way out of the problem that we're faced today. And when we have a, a budget deficit of $120 million, I, I don't believe we can tax our way out of it. I think we can grow our way out of it if we all get, our, our, uh, get on the same page and work together and uh, try and put in some pro-growth, pro-business uh, legislation in place. So I've done these uh, uh, economy pitches. I've done about five of these economy pitches where I go around the state and I ask 15 entities to come up and give us a five minute pitch about what we can do as legislators to help you in business. And so we give them five minutes and I, and I describe it as a cross between speed dating and Shark Tank. And, and I also tell them it's the economy pitch with a P, not a B. You know, we already know the problems. Tell us proactively what we can do. And uh, I've had five of these so far, and uh, we've, we've uncovered an awful lot of things that are going to help, I believe, and uh, incentivize and help businesses in Vermont. So uh, my door is always open. I welcome hearing from you. And uh, there's more ideas out there. We don't have all the answers in the legislature. I don't, I don't know if you knew that or not, but <laughs> we don't have all the answers. We need your help. So uh, we look forward to that. And again, my door is always open for that. So thank you very much. Congratulations. Congratulations as well. And thank you for um, choosing Vermont to live and to grow your businesses here. We appreciate that. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor. And now the reason we are here tonight, to honor 30 great companies to work for in Vermont. I would like to have uh, Tim McQuiston and Melissa Norman come back up. Uh, they will be emceeing the event. And Layla, if you want to come up and join myself and the Lieutenant Governor. So we're going to start with the small companies and work our way to number one, then we'll do the larger companies. And um, between the uh, pine syrup joke and the massage <laughs> joke, I have nothing. I got nothing left. They, they covered it all. We are one of the companies that does massages, by the way. I don't know if they're Vermont, but we do do massages for our employees. That's great. Only our employees. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Melissa's going to kick it off. So um, number 20 on the small companies uh, list is um, top, uh, TPW and their slogan of go play, leave, work, leave the work to us applies not only to its customers but also to its dedicated staff of 95 employees. Wow. A positive work-life balance remains a key part of the 25-year family business core values. TPW's four Vermont locations location resorts in Killington, Stratton, Okemo, and Mount Snow is where you'll find staff splitting time between work and play with family time always a priority. Benefits 
that they support the stellar TPW staff include bonuses for bringing in new business, reimbursement for college programs, announcements of employee accomplishments and successes, and flexible hours that accommodate family appointments, events, and uh, different opportunities to spend time with their families. So DPW, come on up, bring all your people. So as we're announcing your company, you can just head on up and then we can get your picture taken. Nino, one of our um, celebrated staff, will do that for you. <laughs> These pictures will be up on the website. Next up is All Earth Renewables. Come on up. <clears throat> All Earth Renewables believes that almost everyone wants to work somewhere where their work really does make a difference. They are all about being that someplace where the business mission is very much in line with personal passions, working for that greater good. And those very impassioned employees are the ones who make All Earth Renewables one of the best places to work in Vermont. All Earth shows their gratitude by offering a benefits package that includes profit sharing, a free healthy family style lunch program, a wellness allowance, free tickets to a variety of Flynn performances. Their innovative rewire program keeps right in line with that mission statement, paying their employees to maintain a low carbon footprint. Who wouldn't want to work for and with a team like that? All Earth, congratulations. Next up on our list, number 18, Farm and Wilderness Foundation. Come on up. The employees at the Farm and Wilderness enjoy working there because their colleagues are kindred sp spirits. This nonprofit's mission and values resonate closely with their personal views. Farm and Wilderness have green and community-based practices built right into their workday responsibilities. That speaks all things Vermont. Things like having an organic farm to witness the seasonal cycles, maple sugaring in the spring, planting and harvesting gar gardens in the summer and in the fall, haying and wood splitting in the winter, in the, in the autumn, getting ready for the winter, sorry. And if this isn't enough fun-loving connections to foster bonds, there are also informal monthly potluck lunches, holiday cookie swaps, I want some cookies, and all staff meetings with themes that include lots of games. Congratulations. Next is Rhino Foods. Come on up. The first time winner, Rhino Foods, is a global leader in the development and manufacture of bakery style ice cream ingredients. Rhino is known worldwide as the company that created chocolate, chocolate chip cookie dough for ice cream. Yes, that chocolate chip cookie dough. Rhino is a certified B Corporation with their main investment being their human capital. Their employee camaraderie includes Rhino Company Family Bowling Party, Rhino Company Family Summer Picnic, Rhino Monthly Employee Birthday Celebrations, Rhino Employee Garden of Sharing, Reduced Rate Rhino Gym Memberships, Monthly Rhino Employee Newsletter called Rhino in the Works. I think I'm seeing a trend here. All events Are Rhino, we... yeah. including the ice cream. Congratulations. <laughs> When my son went away to school, I enjoyed a few too many Rhino ice cream products. It was tough to say goodbye. Number 16 on our list, Union Mutual Fi uh, Fire Insurance Company, if you want to come on up. <laughs> Union Mutual of Vermont Companies has been doing business in Central Vermont for over 140 years. 
Wow, that's a long time. That longevity is all about fostering the long-term relationships, and it's built on the foundation of its dedication to its employees, their customers, and the community where they live. The company is proud to offer a professional work environment, competitive salaries, and a comprehensive benefit package that goes well beyond the expected. While employees are respected as individual, the overall spirit of teamwork creates fun ways for them to achieve things like Spring Spirit Week, employee outings, random summer barbecues on sunny days, great Vermont treat, those sunny summer days. They are thrilled to be receiving this award for a second year in a row, and they know who to thank, their secret recipe, their employees. Next on the list is Liquid Measurement Systems, Inc. <laughs> Liquid Measurement Systems is a leader in the design and manufacture of fuel management systems for commercial and military aerospace markets. At this family-owned business, the employees come first. Liquid Measurement Systems knows that it owes its success to its employees, the LMS team, to their skill, creativity, experience, and integrity. They honor that employee dedication with an excellent benefits package with plenty of personal time off, compensation that is at or slightly above the market average, a vacation stipend that encourages employees and their families to get away from it all. The company even helps with those vacation expenses. That's a nice... That's a, that's oh. a great... Yeah. Are you thinking about switching? <laughs> <laughs> the employees themselves say that what they like most about LMS at LMS are the people they work with and the feeling of community and team spirit they find here. And it says in the paper, rah, rah. So congratulations. So number 14 on our list is Wild Apple Graphics. Come on up. Wild Apple Graphics finds, creates, and delivers great art for the world. Achieving that vision simply could, would not be possible without the hard work, dedication, and creativity of their staff. The company does their part by creating a casual, creative, fun, and fast-paced environment. Not surprising, they believe in family first. It is evidenced in their generous paid time off policy, quarterly profit sharing for all employees, and they pay 100% of health insurance premiums. They have an open book financials, and everyone participates in company planning and goal setting. They try to live by the golden rule, and if that isn't good enough, they get to consume extraordinary amounts of chocolates. Woohoo! A hundred percent of health benefits. Uh, where are they based again? <laughs> Doesn't actually say. We're going to have to Google it. Next, Wells River Savings Bank. <laughs> Wells River Savings Bank is a locally owned mutual savings bank founded in 1892. The bank is dedicated to honoring their tradition of friendly, personal service, and strong commitment to the community. They accomplish this from the inside out. Various programs in the bank allow employees to integrate their personal, family, and community commitments with their work. These include paid short-term family leave, competitive wages, generous benefits, promoting from within. Day of service for volunteering at a nonprofit of the employees choosing, in-house training, many opportunities for extra paid time off. At Wells River Savings Bank, the employees have created an organization that is more than just a place to work, it's a family. Congratulations. Number 12 on our list, 
Sun Common. Sun Common's mission is to tear down the barriers that have made renewable energy inaccessible. They make going solar easy and affordable so that all Vermonters can together create a healthy environment. Sun Common is committed to the triple bottom line of people, planet, and profit. The majority of our 65 employees work out of the Energy Mill, New England's largest net zero office building. The field staff are provided with hybrid vehicles, and employees are honored with solid benefits, including their family's health and dental insurance. Lunch is provided weekly. Weekly all-company meetings with open book financials are shared. Sun Common celebrates work and life with frequent parties, recognition, and appreciation. And they even have their own bouncy house. Congratulations. I know for a fact that the next company is getting its own bouncy house as well. <laughs> Vermont Public Radio. <laughs> Vermont Public Radio is a remarkable place to work. Their mission of public service drives and inspires them to help make their community a better place to live. Every member of the v VPR team is committed to that excellence. As a member of the VPR staff, you get a voice quite literally, and not just on the radio. VPR offers the guidance and the resources employees need to accomplish their goals. Employees are able to balance work and life with flexible schedules, outstanding benefits, generous paid time off. VPR is truly caring offerings like staff barbecues and pie days. Is that just on pie day or is it any, any time? Apple pies. Em Employee appreciation and celebrations and cakeable moments, even an on site employee garden. Congratulations, VPR. Number 10, the Basin Harbor Club. Come on down. just said they have their own bouncy house. The Basin Harbor Club is located on Lake Champlain, nestled between the Green Mountains and the Adirondacks. Basin Harbor is committed to creating memorable experiences at their resort that keep their guests, families, and their employees happy. I also hear, by the way, that Penny has quite a former employee gap kind of collective grouping of people who have worked over summers and just come up to her all the time and say hi and how are you and catch up. So I think that's really cool. They strive to provide excellent customer service to their guests, always remembering that fellow staff members are customers too. Employees have the use of property amenities in the summertime. That's pretty cool. As in the golf, kayaking, bikes, lakefront swimming, boats, ropes course, and even the use of the fitness center. They even provide business education workshops and conferences. There is always an end to the season, staff dinner and party. It's so sad to see the end of the season come. Congratulations. Next is Cathedral Square. Cathedral Square is a company with a heart and a purpose. Cathedral Square is, is a recognized leader in service-enriched housing. They provide a quality of life to elderly and disabled individuals. They live by their mission, creating healthy homes, caring communities, and positive aging. They want to make a difference in the lives of others. They want to make a difference in the lives of their employees, too. Cathedral Square provides a positive atmosphere, always encouraging employee self-growth. They value their employees' ideas and accomplishments. What sets them apart is the excellent benefit package, their genuine care for creating a family-friendly atmosphere, their wellness program, which includes on-site showers, discounted gym membership, and a Biggest Loser program. 
Congratulations, Cathedral Square. We're getting down there. 12 down, eight to go. Number eight, Gallagher Flynn. Come on down. Gallagher Flynn continues to live by their vision statement to, to strive to be the best by contributing profoundly to the success, success of their clients, employees, and community. Gallagher Flynn is passionate about their staff. They strive to treat each of them fairly and with dignity. The staff is encouraged to live the Gallagher Flynn values by being service to their, com to their community and providing time off and financial support for individual volunteering. The company keeps a healthy work environment. There is a track and two softball fields at the office. There are holiday parties and recognition for all employees celebrating years of service. Congratulations. You know, there's a couple of accounting firms actually on the list. Shouldn't they be doing something else this time of year? Isn't, isn't there something more important? Or is there nothing import, more important than... There, there is a strategy to this. You, you take half, leave half, and then you swap them out. Because they, they like work around the clock. They're going right back to finish your taxes. Don't worry. Next, Vermont Economic Development Authority. Vita is very pleased to be recognized as one of the 2015 best places to work in Vermont. For over 40 years, Vita's employees have worked to meet the financing needs of Vermont's commercial and agricultural businesses, helping them to grow and thrive. The leadership team at Vita provides a professional works, workplace that includes enjoyable on-site and off-site opportunities to celebrate accomplishments together. Vita provides professional development and lifelong learning opportunities, great benefits, competitive salaries, and meaningful work. As a result, Vita staff members are dedicated and disciplined. They know how to stay sharp, rejuvenated, and simply have fun. If anybody knows Joe Bradley, yes, they're having fun over there. <laughs> Think hula hoops, holiday parties, and pizza days with or without salad. Congratulations. Honored to announce number six, Hickok and Boardman. Come on down. <laughs> At Hickok and Boardman, financial planning and HR intelligence, the employees deserve credit for creating an environment of trust camaraderie, and fun. This is not your typical workplace. It is a family of passionate, highly skilled, and fun-loving employees who care about the well-being of their teammates, clients, and community. They sustain their workplace environment and culture by offering flexible schedules, hosting annual food drives for the Chittenden Emergency Food Shelf, encouraging outdoor working, walking meetings, and stair challenges. Ooh, we have one of those where I work too. <laughs> Educating employees in their financial well-being, offering fun opportunities like playing laser tag and bocce ball, hosting breakfasts with healthy food options on casual dress Fridays, having employee appreciation <laughs> events such as chocolate making at Lake Champlain Chocolates. Congratulations. So what, what is that chair thing? Oh, so it's like, no, it's stair challenges. Chair, stair? Stair challenges. What, what is that? So like, I imagine like it form teams and who gets there to the top first if you don't die first, you know, stairs, it's a lot of work. A lot of work. <laughs> a lot of work. It's a great mm -hmm. cardio workout. 
It explains that Lake Champlain chocolate thing then. Yeah, right? you have to do that to compete in that. Next, ASIC North. ASIC North is extremely proud to again be named as one of the best places to work in Vermont. ASIC North provides design services for companies with semiconductor-based needs. ASIC North was founded upon the fundamental belief that the strength of the company relies on the employees being cared for and enabling them to be productive and successful. To that end, they provide generous benefits and comp compensation packages, generous paid time off, flex time, contributions to retirement accounts. Health benefits include a nutritionist, a massage therapist. Is that massage thing again? It is. It's that's, a thing. That, that's the thing this year, I think, is the but whole massage thing. Vermont massage. Is it a main massage or I what? Don't know. What's the difference? We have to develop this. Mas mas massage therapist on site and discounted gym memberships. There's also an annual incentive program based on the growth of the company. Congratulations, ASIC North. LT said we're not talking loud enough. Can you hear us back there? I will speak louder. <laughs> Put it to, well, I'm, I'm, I'm height challenged. I'm vertically challenged. That would be the word. Yes, that's I'm a politically only, correct word. I'm only five word. four. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's where you want it, right there. Okay, perfect. <laughs> So number four, wow, the count countdown, 20 down to number four. Vermont College of Fine Arts, come on down. <laughs> the Vermont College of Fine Arts is a national center for education in the arts fostering the excellence of emerging and established artists while advancing the arts to create more, a more humane world. Employees understand both short and long-term institutional goals. There is a flexibility and transparency within the, in the environment. They maintain this by their 100% open door policy. This even includes the president's office. VCFA takes care of the health of their employees. They have their own ping pong table, treadmill, and there are a number of walking and hiking trails on the school's property. They offer discounted rates with fitness clubs. There are regular departmental luncheons and gatherings and holiday parties. Do you have beer at the holiday parties? Is it Vermont beer? All right. Staff is given time off and appreciation for their work they do over and above. And their environment is green friendly, my favorite, pet friendly. Dogs and cats? All right, give it up. Our next company wrote the book and the catalog on green. Seventh generation. You know, they were cool to be green. You know, they were cool to be green before green was cool to be. Seventh generation is one of the nation's leading brands of household and personal care products, and I would say they are the nation's leading brand of household and personal care products. Seventh Generation is family friendly. The company looks for parents and grandparents to employ. This is uh, really interesting, this next part. Employing an aging workforce provides balance in decisions and messaging as a company. That high energy varied workforce accomplishments Wonderful community service, accomplishes wonderful community service. They raised funds for Chittenden Emergency Food Shelf that was equivalent to 10,000 pounds of food, five tons of food. Over half their staff 
helped build and maintain Camp Tecumta property and their new chapel. Employees led the cause in supporting Vermont's Toxic Free Families Act last year. Their help was recognized as crucial to the bill's success. The governor even signed the bill into, uh, into law at their office. Congratulations. Last two, 20 down to two. Now, if, if, if uh, number one cannot fulfill his obligations, does number two become number one? That's a great question. Depends on if there's a crown, appearances, dresses, you know, I don't know. Tough, tough call. Number two, Fuse, come on down. This, folks, is the company that brought our great switchback ale tonight. Fuse is a youth culture marketing agency that connects brands with teens and young adults. Fuse's services include brand strategy, public relations, event marketing, design, and social media. The creative environment Fuse provides allows employees to share ideas, insights, and inspiration. Various benefits and perks help employees maintain a healthy work-life balance. Employees receive generous benefits including health and dental insurance, liberal vacation time, seasons pass to a local mountain resort of their choice, annual fitness reimbursement, and pay time off for volunteering. You know, Tim, there's a theme here with this volunteering thing. Pretty cool. I think that's one of the major factors. I think so, yeah. Key, note, note, right, if you're not on this list? Well, that and the uh, massage thing and the child. Vermont thing. massage. Vermont massage. Yeah, yeah, okay. And they also like Vermont beer, okay. Employees have... Flex time and half, oh, this is the best, half day Fridays in the summer. Woohoo! <laughs> Congratulations. All right, we, we really want to hear it big for our number one company in this category. <laughs> Let's hear it for Saslo, Lufkin, and Bagi Al Bay. <laughs> There's another one that has to run back and finish it for once. Your 10 case. With stunning views of Lake Champlain, Saslo, Lufkin, and Buggy's employees have an enticing environment when they come to work. Saslo fosters an environment that allows employees to challenge themselves in their career, as well as maintain a steady and loud work-life balance. Benefits include tuition reimbursement, tuition reimbursement, and a bonus for passing the CPA exam. A flexible work environment, jeans week, a kitchen stocked with healthy snacks and plenty of coffee, like tonight probably, fun activities like ice cream breaks, Saslow, Lufkin and Buggy provides a vibrant environment that attracts hardworking, committed and loyal employees. Congratulations. Tim, I see kind of a theme here. Like, we've got these folks that are working, like, really hard up until April 15th, like, 24 hours a day, right? And then we got, like, Rhino Foods. 
I see like a happy marriage there. Well, you know, um, Melissa, there's a lot of talk about massages and beer and chocolate and ice cream. Fancy vacations and time off and, and that sort of thing. But, you know, Vermont Business Magazine has, I think, you know, you know the, the average temperature this week, this, year, this winter, was about 15 degrees below, on average, 15 degrees below, below average temperature. So Vermont Business Magazine has a employee benefit plan, a home heating benefit plan. How much better is that than, like, dental, 100% dental? Wow. Right? Like, like delivering the oil to my house type of benefit plan? Uh, not quite. Maestro, if you will. Is it green? Oh, it's very green. All right. I feel like I should march. You know, Melissa, um, for some reason, not all the employees are fully engaged in that benefit plan. They are. Has it been approved through your workers' comp carrier? Yeah. Uh, did the insurance guys already leave? Yeah. Have, they, <laughs> have they gone yet? I saw them. Those axe swinging capabilities were a little scary. Uh, yeah, we cut some of that out, in fact. Ooh. So the ginge, put that together. Where's the ginge? There she is! <laughs> Rapids Magazine, employment. Da, da, da. Did everybody, if you're missing employees from the, the picture, did everybody survive? Is the question. Is this microphone on? <laughs> There's no, no comp carriers in the building. Oh, good. <laughs> All right! <Come> on. <laughs> and we'll move on to the large companies. At number eight, Southwestern Vermont Healthcare. Congratulations, Southwest. Okay, back to number 10, as you might have guessed, dealer.com here in Burlington. Dealer.com is a software company that is developing websites for um, auto dealers. They're one of Vermont's pr most prolific, prolific uh, young technology companies and uh, a particular favorite actually of Governor Shumlin's. I do not have their write-up as you might have guessed in front of me. Uh, they were, uh, they, do, they do fabulous things obviously. <laughs> Come on. Oh, they're too shy to fill in for me, so. They turned a plastics company on Pine Street into a high-tech firm that, that has a, they used to have an indoor uh, tennis court. They have their own kitchen there with fabulous food and they're a fabulous company and they're good sports too. So dealer.com, thank you very much. At number nine, Country Home Products. Come on up! Now famous for their uh, DR products, you can see the, the all-terrain vehicle there. 
But, you know, they, they actually would have come in handy if they had brought their wood splitter to Vermont Business Magazine. It's a phenomenal product. It splits wood at how many times the usual rate of six wood? Times. Six times. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it, it reverses the process, if you can even imagine that. Of course, they're also known for their um, uh, weed whackers and lawn cutting products and direct a customer. Congratulations, cut your own products, DR, the wood splitter, the wood trimmers are. Wow. Yeah. That's what you call thinking on your feet, huh? It is. And it's your turn now to, to speak. Okay. So number seven on our list of large companies is Stowe Mountain Resort. Come on down. <laughs> Stowe Mountain Resort is one of the best places to work because they know how to work hard and they know how to have fun. Not only to see how their employees must be happy, the location, location, location is one of the most beautiful in the state of Vermont. They truly give back with free recreational use for military members and families and an annual fundraising event for wounded warriors. To keep their employees happy and healthy, there's an annual wellness fair on site. All employees are given pedometers for their walking program, and most importantly, they are proud of what they have to offer their guests, and they share that enthusiasm with their guests each and every day. Congratulations. Now, after the event, you're, you can all get one of these, which will have the write-up on all the companies. So you get to find out more about um, Country Home Products and Dealer.com. Number six, KPMG, come on up. In KPMG's Burlington office, they like to say that they have the best of both worlds with a small company culture and a large company resource. Their culture exemplifies open and honest communication, teamwork, respect, and integrity. Knowing that people are their greatest asset, KPMG is invested in robust mentoring program, professional training and development, corporate discounts, and flexible work arrangements. Employee recognitions are informal events that keep their people motivated and engaged. There are published acknowledgments of professional milestones. There are get-togethers, bowling parties, and summer celebrations. There are group volunteer projects, casual days, and afternoon ice cream socials. Congratulations, KPMG. Number five on our chart, but number one in my heart, King Arthur Flower. Come on down. <laughs> Employees at King Arthur Flower are the heart of what we do. They're the folks responsible for making sure our products are top notch. They are, we are employee owned 100% and 100% committed to quality. As owners, there's no one who cares more about ensuring the success of the company than our employees. Every employee owner is given 40 hours of volunteer time each year. They are official flowers, they are the official flower for Cookies for Kids Cancer and Bake Sale Hero campaigns. There is a solar-powered electric vehicle charging station at no charge. There are bikes available when commuting between our different buildings. They have an on-site exercise room, which includes treadmills, ellipticals, exercise balls, hula hoops. 
They are even honored to once again be recognized as a leader in workplace practices. We also offer massages. I don't know about the Vermont thing, though. <laughs> And we also have really, really cool um, anniversary events, and we even have a knighting ceremony, recognizing all of our employees for their quinquennial years of service. It's a very, very special time. Congratulations. And Melissa did not know where they were finishing. A surprise to her as well as everybody else. Number four, Okimo. <laughs> Okimo is in the people business. The organization is family owned and operated. They get to share their passion and help make memories with guests and with each other. Okimo employees embrace their core principles of forward thinking, integrity, and responsibility. The Okimo culture is truly focused on family. There is backup child or elder care available as needed. Flexible hours, help care of family needs, incentives abound at Okimo, employee recognition, skill development, special prizes, and this this might even be better than the 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 the, um, the, the uh, log chopping at Vermont Business Magazine. And, and, uh, maybe, and maybe. The vacation planning. May, maybe, maybe, maybe a grand prize drawing for a trip to the U.S. Virgin Islands. Ooh. The employees are the Okimo difference. They have a positive attitude, they work together as a team, and always give the extra 1% in everything they do. Congratulations, Okimo. Number three on our list. Vermont Energy Investment Corporation. Come on down. <laughs> VEIC is dedicated to reducing the economic and environmental costs of energy use. They work with utilities, government agencies, and foundations in the design and delivery of energy efficiency and renewable energy services. They have been named among the best places to work in Vermont five years running. Noted for their open workspace design, meaningful work, and dedication to work-life balance, VEC presents opportunities for staff to learn, grow, and pursue a path that serves the individual and the organization and their mission. Volunteering is a big component to VEIC's culture. Staff recently worked with COTS to prepare lunchtime meals. Fun and, healthy, fun and health are key components of VEIC. There are f family picnics in the park, gym memberships, and 15-minute massages. Vermont? <laughs> and of course, the annual Halloween party. Let's give it up for VEIC. Two. How many? Two. One, two. Number two. Lord Microstrain. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> For almost 30 years, Lord Microstrain has provided cutting edge sensors technology to customers around the world. Among the many employee perks and benefits are a company-wide wellness program that encourages exercise, de-stressing, and a healthy diet. Many employees go as a group to volunteer at places such as Habitat for Humanity and Dragon Heart Vermont, which is very close to many of us in this room. A robust benefits package including Friday, flex days, a generous vacation and holiday schedule, and comprehensive health care. All employees are eligible for prizes, extra efforts for performance, can be rewarded with gift cards or a bonus. There are summer cookouts and picnics with their always popular cornhole tournament and the famous Bagel Fridays. Congratulations. <laughs> the 
That is an old time name, Cornhole Tournament. Have you ever played in the Cornhole Tournament? No, but I've done the game. I'm very good at it. A couple of beers helps with, you know, aim and lots of other things. It's I think, amazing. I think the Vermont massaging might help. Yeah, that's true too. Get you all warmed up. We are down to number one. Went from 30 to one. So let's give it up for Edward Jones. Did you know Edward Jones values its associates so much that it offers them ownership? They do. About half of the firm associates are now limited partners. Edward Jones provides flexible, rewarding work. Associates can even earn all expense paid trips to exotic destinations like the U.S. Virgin Islands. Across the globe for serving their clients well. The company supports a healthy lifestyle in many ways. Their latest fitness challenge is called Get Fit on Route 66, where participants virtually travel a Chicago to LA route, exercising to earn miles. Family is first at Edward Jones, and volunteering is a fundamental part of their culture. One paid day off annually for home office associates to volunteer formalizes this. In branches, volunteerism during the workday is common and expected. Way to go. Nice job. Congratulations. So there, there's only one thing left, and that is to reintroduce J John Booten, who will send us out. But I, I just have to, do, I have to do one more thing. Hold on. Are, are we taking a selfie? Um, well, I could do it. How, how do you do a selfie? Are you technically challenged? <laughs> well, I'm not sure I know how to do a selfie, but let me take a picture of everyone here. Miles here. No. You got those things. All right, John, take it away. Thank you, and congratulations to everybody. All these companies are the best places to work in Vermont. Give everyone a hand. Now we do, as you walk out, we do have the program. We've been keeping it under lock and key until this time because the, the uh, companies are all ranked in it. So grab a copy on your way out. We do have coffee uh, and dessert out in the foyer. I'm not quite sure if the bar is still open, but I hope so. <laughs> have a good night, everyone. <laughs>